Okay. So we can start recording at the same time. Okay, so um, when I say one, that's when you start recording. I'm already rolling. Oh, okay, that's cool. So what, what's the purpose of all this? Well, my name is Jacob, and uh, I am the director and subject of this particular documentary. And basically, we're just trying to basically find me a romantic relationship. For me, the ideal relationship would be like, Getting into a nice comfy pair of tracky pants, but the tracky pants are trendy and the tracky pants also make me want to go outside. So uh, what do you hope to achieve uh, in making this documentary? Yeah, it'd be kind of great to do some personal growth, you know, sort of get out of my shell a bit. There's, I've put up a lot of personal barriers and boundaries between me and finding someone over the years, a lot of mental uh, barriers that I think I need to break through. Like if you look at my track record, I have a success rate of 0% and it's like, if you were going into something and the previous results were 0%, why would you continue doing it if the results were 0%? You know what I mean? If somebody was into me and they really want to go out with me, it sounds weird, but I would expect them to ask me out because otherwise, otherwise I would just never do it. Is that due to a fact that you believe you're not good enough? Yeah. Yeah. You don't believe you're good enough to ask people out? Nah. So, what do you hope to achieve by the end of this program? HD plus, although at this rate, I'd be happy with a pass. So it's all about the great few, it's not about bettering yourself as a person? Nah. But I think that's like half the problem, you know? Yeah. I'm too- Like, you know, you've got to want to, you've got to want to- like, you know, go out there and, I don't know, either find love or find somebody to get inside of for the night. Alright, Krilly, what's your advice for Jacob on getting a date? Let me guess, don't worry about it, it's all gonna be alright, you're gonna be all good in the end, you just relax and be yourself. <laughs> Fuck that, don't be yourself, don't ever do that. Like, Thank you. <laughs> just... I'm tired, I'm hungry. I wanna go home, I want this to wrap up, I don't wanna go home. You need attitude readjustment. I, Your attitude is negative as fuck. I'm... And you need to put that shit positive. In the words of Jack, what Jack said, I need to put this shit positive. So I'm going to go on a self-improvement journey. I'm going to do a bunch of activities to help my self-esteem. And the first step is going to the gym. So hey, I'm here today at the gym trying to exercise because apparently people like it when people are in shape. That's an attractive quality to have and hopefully it all goes well. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, never going to the gym again. That was terrible. Terrible idea. I'm gonna do something that's way easier. Like, I don't know, waxing or something. That's gonna be easy. Now we're actually gonna wax. So I have to take off my shirt. Here it is. Uh. You ready, Jacob? It's gonna feel a little warm. Yeah. Just make sure you breathe through it too. The things we do for uni assessment. <laughs> oh, oh, that was just the start. Keep breathing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 mother! You still want to keep going, Jacob? Are you happy? Happy to keep going? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I think that was possibly the most painful. Oh yeah. Well, obviously the waxing didn't work. It was very painful. Oh! Uh, I think I need to talk to someone else about this. Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Jacob. Hello, cameras. What are five things that you really like about yourself? Oh. Uh, can I get back to you on that? No. Uh, apparently I can be really stubborn, which is... That's not a good attitude. That's, um... I floss on a regular basis. I like that. Good hygiene. Yeah, good oral hygiene. And uh, every now and then I'll make my bed. There's a good thing. All right. 
they seem pretty superficial. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I kind of view that, like, if I ask out someone, like, that's kind of like sexual harassment or something. Like, that's that's very unwanted. And, you know, and if you kept doing something that's unwanted, then that's really bad. And you shouldn't be doing that. I wouldn't say asking someone out is sexual harassment. I think it is. It depends how you do it. Yeah, it's just, I've noticed, I've noticed that whenever I've asked someone out, like, the vibe in the room immediately turns sour, and they're like, oh, oh. Do you know what it is? It's being asked out by someone who you don't want to say yes to, but then having to feel guilty about it, yeah. because you don't want to hurt them. Yeah. So like, then you're like, oh god, get me out of this awkward situation. So what should we do now? Well, I think I should do some intimacy exercises with you. Okay. All right. All right, Siobhan, let's do this intimacy exercise. Okay, this is pretty experimental. I've never done this before. Okay. So let's just have a go. Yeah, all right. all right. Okay, so just look into my eyes. Which one? Both of them. Okay. Don't make a joke. Breathe deeply into your stomach. No, no petting. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that it? Or we keep going? Yeah. The reason it's you're feeling uncomfortable yeah. is because that's really intimate. I think you just need to push through the discomfort. Discomfort, but I'm not a psychologist. You know, yeah, the intimacy exercises. I, I think they went well. I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to get some opinions from my brother or something. I think it'd be really good to get his input. You know. Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So what 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 are your views on my romantic life? I don't know, you don't tell me that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Why why do you think that? Uh, I don't know, because uh maybe you're a private person. To be perfectly honest with you, the reason why I haven't told you any of that is uh just because there hasn't been anything to tell. That's all right. Yeah. Everyone 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 goes at their own pace. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. I think you just, yeah, got to be patient and, you know, it'll come when you're ready, as cheesy as that is. I think uh, the, the right focus is to focus on yourself and your mates and being comfortable with yourself, especially after high school when you're trying to sort of figure yourself out and what direction you want in life. Look after yourself first because, you know, it's, it's you. So, uh, yeah, I found out a lot of things about myself. I realized that, you know, uh, relationships aren't objects. They're, they're, they have a deeper meaning than that. It's not something that you can just want and then go out and get, you know, it has, it has to, it has to do a lot with yourself and who you are and, uh, your self-esteem and what you think of yourself. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. It's just I know people a lot of people had in mind where when they're watching this documentary where it's gonna go or it's gonna lead to, but I'm sorry, it's just it's just not gonna be like that. I mean that's real life.